This is Owen, a deer, joining guns at the Mornicott shoot for a drink between drives. Yes, a deer who likes shooting. Here's the shoot owner. Yes, well, Owen was found caught up in, uh, in some barbed wire by the, by the boys in one of the top fields. Uh, they untangled him, but uh, Mother wanted nothing to do with him, having smelt uh, of, uh, of them. And, uh, you can blame her. Um, we brought him in and, uh, and fed him on news milk, and uh, he won't, uh, won't go away now. He sort of hangs around quite a bit and uh, is there uh, on quite a few other shoot days. He's, but, not, uh, he's not gun shy, is he? He's not gun shy at all, no. In fact, we had the hunt over the other week, and uh, he was running in front of the hounds, sort of thinking, this is fun. <laughs> Thankfully, they were after Heinz. <laughs> he takes part uh, on a, a number of occasions, joins the beating line several times. He's joined the guns at break as well. So uh, during the rut, it was a bit interesting because he got a little bit uh, amorous with uh, with one or two people. But uh, he's uh, he's calmed down a bit now. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens as he grows and develops. But. Uh, for now a worthy addition. So our mission today is to see if we can find Owen, or if Owen can find us. Well that's part of our mission, we're also out to have a lovely day's pheasant shooting on what is one of Exmoor's outstanding shoots. Andrew starts the day with an excellent breakfast and a briefing, then we head into countryside that could win an award from the Flying Pheasant Federation if pheasants had a federation for flying. The estate manager is another Owen, Charles Owen. After the deer. Well, the deer's after me, I suppose. The first tribe is called Holly Tree. It's a long bank with guns arranged below a cover crop. We haven't tried it for a while. I think it went very well. Yeah, we're extremely flashy at this time of year. So it's sort of everybody, all the guns creep into position. As soon as the shot, this first shot is fired, look out. The guns find the shooting here challenging. On the ones that were going back, way over the top of the trees, yeah. you know, little tiny things. Yes. But it, but this, and I, it I just waved the gun about 12, 15 feet in front of it. Wonderful. And it went poof and came down. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying Sputnik. The next drive, Whitechapel, produces sudden birds. No sign of Owen, but with these pheasants, who needs an extra four legged beater? Well, that was very successful. Whitechapel is interesting because it's a drive where you can't see any meters, you can't see any flaggers, you can't see anything coming. The birds just appear over the brow of the hill which is quite fun. And then we're going on now to do um, Clover Down, which is one of our sort of signature drives, but we're going to do it out the back, because the pheasants have learned to fly out the back of the crop, so we thought, right, stand the guns behind the farmhouse and take them back over the farmhouse. Charles has produced 30 days of shooting on Mordecott this year, with and without Owen's help. He and, he and Andrew created the shoot six years ago. So what does the future look like? I think if we get much bigger than 30, it then becomes a little bit commercial and not really where we want to be. So. 30 is a nice number and maybe to get fed up with it. <laughs> I think what we'll probably do is we'll keep to 30 days, um, but probably up the bag sizes slightly. So we do a few hundred and 150 bird days, we'll probably hope to sort of phase those out and do sort of a minimum of 200, maybe a few 150s in January. Same number of days, but more birds. Andrew has built comfortable accommodation for a whole team of guns here. Yeah, we had seven years of builders and uh, last year was our first year when we had uh, guests staying overnight. People can roll out of the shoot room at, late at night without having to worry about drinking and uh, spend the night then come in for breakfast in the morning before shooting. So uh, yeah, it works very well. Teams of beaters and pickers up, if you'd looked at all the building works we've had done, I think we worked out building work-wise. We'd done nine full-time employees for a full year on the building works and this and the other. And then uh, obviously the beating teams, picking up teams, keeper, and various other people who help out in the, in the catering and the, uh, the preparing things and the overnight accommodation. So, at least a dozen full time equivalents, I would think. Uh, not as yet, I'm afraid, no. No, but time will tell. We're going up to the uh, Owen direction now. So. The drives continue, the guns stop for a drink, and they clearly like what they're getting today. They especially like Andrew. Well, it's all those virtues that we, we all wish we had, isn't it? It's, um... <clears throat> you know, delightful personality, exemplary leadership, ruthless efficiency, and bloody nice with it. The last drive, the hangar, is spectacular, with pheasants coming over the top of a high wood. So did everything go according to plan? Uh, as much as anything ever goes according to plan on a shoot day. Well, I think everybody's had some fun, and that's really what today's been about. To book shooting at Mornicott, go to mornicott.co.uk. And what about Owen? No, none, not today. He's uh, obviously taken a day off, but I hope we'll see him in a day or two and uh, back, uh, back in the line next year with good luck. <laughs>